Hey guys, it's Regan here and welcome to a new hack tutorial. In this video, you probably already see it in my, in my hand. I'm gonna explain you something about the cryopods. These are not actually that complicated as you probably think at the beginning. And you already see it here in my inventory, an empty cryopod here. So what, do, uh, what can you do with a cryopod? It's actually very simple. It's like a Pokeball. Just press left mouse button while you're at one of your dinos. Just press it once. You don't have to uh, hold it. So just press it once and it will like catch the dino into the cryo capsule. And you probably see it here right now. Here you see my Maving level 242 is inside of this capsule. So how do you uh, craft these capsules? Um, just go into the engrams and put in tech. Um, tech replicator there and you see here you could craft them the other option would be you could take an airdrop one like this here for example so you just go in here and on structures you can go on crafting and here you see the tech repl replicator um, in electric you see the cryo fridge um, I'm gonna explain this one later to you and in if you go back into weapons, there you find the cryopod. And also you see the uh, crafting requirements, so the materials that you need for crafting it. <coughs> you just have to put the uh, resources into the airdrop. But watch out, watch uh, the durability, which was 10 of 100. If you put the uh, resources inside and it despawns, then they will be gone. So just put them in and like this now and then you could craft it if you have all necessary resources inside of the airdrop. So here now you see a timer. So for example here 8 days and 14 hours. This means the cryo pot is, is uh, this is the durability for like it will keep, um, it will be active for like 8 days and 14 hours now. You can uh, go into the engrams here and put in cryo fridge the one that i've shown you just for level 88 and if you put the cryopods in there after you crafted of course and place it somewhere down but if you put them down they won't lose their ability so they will be at 30 days and they won't lose durability just if you take them out so if you play longer than 30 days you need to make a cryo fridge so here now another th thing about the cryopods one disadvantage you see I'm spawning my first dino and I can ride it it's it, no problem but if you uh, look in the down right corner you see a small timer with the sleeping dino while this cooldown is active and you throw another dino out like I do right now then it's sick you see cryo sickness it's unconscious for sometimes it depends, uh, it varies on different dinos. Um, so don't place the dinos while the timer is still active. Wait until the timers um, run out. It often happens just by mistake um, if you don't watch on the timer or you have forgot that you just used one. But uh, yeah, otherwise this will happen. Sometimes it can take like years. For example, I, I don't know, if, I think I spawned a Rex once and it was it had cryo sickness and it took like two hours to uh, yeah we were just playing and it took a long time but yeah so this is already the end of the video I really hope you liked and if you did make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and hopefully see you in my next video bye